episode and the second episode and um you know all I could do is be me it takes courage to put your business out there you know and get personal so this is new new for me so yeah but we're gonna get into the questions um <clears throat> how do you feel letting the world into your life hmm um there's so many people that will relate to this. So many people that's open-minded and that's so closed-minded because you will have to be open-minded to understand anything when it's just not the normal way of things, you know. So I just feel like um, I'm grateful to tell my story, you know, and whether someone's judgmental about it or feel any ways about it, it's like, at the end of the day, at least I have the courage to speak on it, you know, and was willing to speak on it, even though I'm such a private person. So I just feel like, you know, it's life and you go through these things and I don't live with any regrets. So do you think it was difficult for people to understand your dating situation? Of course it was difficult, you know, it's not the easiest to understand, you know, and honestly, if you like it and that's you, that's all that really matters. But, you know, my family did want to understand in reference of other things that occurred, but that's why I got more indulged and more into my business. But I feel like, um, yes, it is hard to understand that situation um, because when it, it comes off confusing, you know, when you are attracted to both. You know, um, I am attracted to both, um, and that's fine, like, you know, but I do label myself as just me being me, you know, and ex and I had explored, I'm exploring, still learning myself, so it's all cool and all a part of the journey, so I embrace it all, so me sharing this is just a part of the journey that I was on, and just taking you guys through it, you know, so, um, yes, I was so confused looking at myself, it's like, Wow, but I was in love. I was fucking with that person. You know, that's who I was with. And that's where, you know, where I was at with it. So, why did I bring Mel to the dinner? Um, I honestly brought her to the dinner because I wanted things to be, you know, cordial with my family and her. Like, regardless of me knowing how they all felt about each other. I still wanted to be the one to see if it could at least be cordial, you know, fine, uh, you know, if things could have just been okay, you know, and um, I knew that I wasn't, we and me and me, I wasn't together at that time of me bringing her to the dinner, but it was more so, I still felt like we would always have that friendship, uh, you know, something, that bind, uh, whatever, you know, but she did have a relationship with my mom, you know, so I thought it was cool because it wasn't no issues with my mom, you know, so I didn't feel it was going to be that bad and I didn't know it was going to turn out that way, but it did, so, you know, but that was never my intention, you know, so when you guys be like, I set her up or, you know, even if she feel that way, if I set her up, that never was my intent. I just wanted things to be cool, cordial, that's about it. Cause nobody never talked about things especially since the wedding so i just wanted everybody to kind of get the point across but it just didn't work out that way so do i regret anything on the first two episodes um no i don't regret anything i don't live with any regrets is it things that i wish i would have done differently of course you know um i wish a lot of things was done differently on everybody's part actually but it happened, you know, and it, it is what it is, and I just pray on it, you know. How do I feel now mentally since that situation, like relationship? Oh, um, mentally, I feel okay, you know. Um, it's hard reliving it, rewatching it, and just going through it, like with it, you know. I know it's a lot. Um, I'm not going to say it's the easiest thing to um, see, you know. Especially when I knew my heart, you know, and what I wanted out of it. So, yeah, it's not easy. 
stuff did not easy, but got to keep it going, man, and accept things for what it is. You seem like a very chill, cool, calm person. How you keep that energy? Honestly, I just try to, I, I look at all situations, so I put myself in all situations. When I'm around all different energies or anything, like, you know, I try to make peace with all, you know. I mean, what you have to learn in life is you can't, you know, please everybody, you know. And that's just what it is, so. Yeah, as a Pisces, we be wanting to, oh, well, we, it's just things we just have to just accept and let it be what it be, you know. I love you, BD. Never let anyone change you. Thank you. I appreciate that. And I won't. guys just kind of want to know the same things but it's a lot of questions let's see um how did you feel when your fan went off on her i hate people in my relationships um like i said it caught me off guard um everything caught me off guard but i also knew everyone's valid feelings and i just was hoping the best I was hoping it to be resolved better than it ended. And it happened. It just didn't work out that way. You know? And it's unfortunate. Yeah. It's unfortunate. But when you in something, you don't see something. I want to state something before I get back to the questions. When you in something, you don't see a lot of things, too. Like, you know, a lot of things... You, you be just so seeing the good in this person and wanting to be with this person. You don't see a lot of shit. And that's another thing. So it's like, you know, you just taking it all in. And it was a lot, you know. And just looking back on the things that I put up with and just was dealing with, just loving this person, it was just like, wow. You really was doing that shit. You was really in that shit. So, it's cool, though. It's cool. It's all lessons, man, that I needed to go through, for sure. And are me and Mel still friends? Um, unfortunately, no. We don't speak. We don't nothing. You know, it ended just bad, and... I never wanted things to be that way, so. What did you learn from this situation? Oh, man, that's a good one. Um, I've learned to speak up. I learned to express myself more so people can understand things versus when I just be so chill and just like, hey, get it, or you don't, which is cool, too. But in this situation, I did learn to speak up a little bit more for myself and the things that I want and how I feel. So I think that confused everybody in this situation, down to Mel and my family. Me not really speaking up and being real with myself. So I take accountability in that. Um, how do you feel about this new journey that you're on? Um, I feel amazing about this new journey. Oh my gosh. It's like a amazing chapter I'm entering. You know, I'm learning so much about myself. I'm learning so much about people. I'm learning so much about life. Just everything, you know, um, entering my 30s and just seeing things for what it is and accepting things for what it is and learning that life is life and you got to keep it moving and you got to just do better your next time will go around you know you, you do better as you go and you get better and um and like i said fortunately our situation it can help others and why it's helping me in the process and through the journey i pray it could do the same and um it's not never easy loving someone and things not working out so that's never easy so um give everybody grace and you know and yourself. 
Love you and your vibe and energy. Thank you. I love you, Vidi. Keep being you. Real too beautiful. Thank you. Thank you guys for all the positive love. We love you. Did you feel torn at your mom's dinner? Like, this is the person I'm in love with. Again, again, this is my family. Great question. Yes, totally. And that's why it came off as me just like, oh my God, is this really going on right now? I didn't know what to do. Like, and I just, I couldn't stand up for her. I couldn't, I just was stuck, man. It just was a lot for me. But yeah, that's an amazing question. Yes, I was torn, for sure. But I know my family had my back, and I appreciate them 100% for seeing things that I was not seeing. And that will always mean the most to me, you know. <clears throat> Oh, you love you, girl. Continue to build with your sister. That's big sis. She got you forever. I agree 100%. I agree 100%. I love the journey me and my sister's on now as well. We needed this. We need each other, though. You really do. Did I ever have a talk with Mel about overstepping her boundaries? Or did you ever have a talk with your family about overstepping boundaries? Um... I haven't had no talk about no boundaries with anyone, honestly. And that goes back to me, like I said, getting better with expressing myself and being more um, aware of the things that um, I speak on and making sure that that also have that um, understanding. You know, people have that understanding. Um, like I say, I take accountability in a lot of things in that situation as far as me not speaking up with Mel or my family, like 100%. So, um, like, people will say, yeah, okay, BD was in there. That's what she choosing to do. That's a fact. That was a choice, you know, regardless of how I was feeling and knowing that I wasn't I feeling like I was getting the end of the stick or whatever. I was still in that, you know, and um, that was a choice, you know, and... You learn and you grow, and I'm not going to fault anybody. Man, I was an amazing person I was with, you know, at that time. Regardless of the mad day, when mad day hit, of course, you see another side of a person that you never wish you would see. But it's like, okay, this is the way this person takes that in, and this is how this person operates, even though I don't operate from that way. You, I, I, I'm the one that didn't get what I wanted either, but I'm also not being mean or being evil or you don't have anything negative to say but I'm also not gonna I'm gonna have grace for everyone in the way they handle things you know so but yeah um it's just unfortunate you know and um just knowing me and my character though that's just never my go-to to make or just want to cause any type of friction you know so um I just feel like you know um it's unfortunate how things ended and how things was, but I wish the best for everybody. You know, that's never my heart to want anything wrongfully done to anyone or don't want wish them the best regardless if they didn't want it for me or however they felt, you know. I can't speak on anyone else, but I can only go up how a person made me feel. And that's just it. And I learned from it. Thank you. I appreciate the lesson. And it's just going to make me better, you know, and get better. And me into this new journey, as a lot of people ask as well. I think they love me and Ricky, yeah. you know, me even growing with him, learning him, trying to take my time and just get into, like, the uncomfortable questions because those are really important when you're dating someone. Get into those uncomfortable questions. Get into the real shit. See what you're getting into. Know your partner. Know who you're dating. And those are important factors that I've learned. And, um, yeah, because things not going to be selling and smooth all the time, and things are not going to work out all the time. So we have to have grace for each other and for one another and ourselves. So I just feel like, you know, we live and learn. And, yeah, I'm just really happy that you are out of that toxic environment and can be happy. Absolutely. Um, I'm absolutely happy for that as well. Um, I definitely feel way better in a better space. I just feel like, you know, me and Mel just didn't understand one another. And, 
you know, I like sometimes you do like a person more and you know, it happens. It happens to all of us, you know, and things like that. And I just feel like things just went too further than it needed to go, you know, you know how like things could start out and then you could have just stopped it at a certain point and then you kinda went like too far. That's what that was. I think we just took that friendship in that that zone a little too further than what it needed to be you know especially me me and her both like your men still and you know different things like that I just wound up falling for and she just went how it went <clears throat> Didi why was you tripping about the picture so bad <laughs> oh the picture at the wedding um it wasn't about her liking the picture and posting the picture, of course. Like, I really never cared about things like that. It was more so, I think I was in my feel about, was more so of that being the first pictures that, that was posted of your bridesmaids and I wasn't in it. And of course I wasn't around and she went with her move and she felt like I was with more, more so with Mel. So I wasn't as attentive at her wedding. So I just felt like, you know, that was in no way like shit. Okay, bet. I'm about to go and post my picture, you know. But, you know, it's all love. It's all good. But definitely, I wasn't tripping off making that about me on her big day. Absolutely not. It was just I felt some type of way. And I had a lot going on at that time. You know, my mom's funeral was going on. Her wedding, Mel's B-Day. So I was trying to balance so much in that time. And it was all over the place. And... If I could have redo all of that and all of that would have been, you know, it's a lot. But, yeah, as far as the picture, no, I was not tripping off the picture like that. Absolutely not. It was just that that was the first picture that I seen and I wasn't in it. And I just seen that was the first thing that was on the Internet. And I seen people tagging me and they're like, where BD? And then I'm like, damn, you know. And I was just so excited for my sister on that day. So to be missing out the picture, it did make me feel away. So... That was really all. It wasn't that deep as if, you know, about a picture. Like, I'm just tripping and crying about a picture. Nah, it, it had more principle to that, you know. You are beautiful and humble. Appreciate that so much. Thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um... Do you plan on leaving Mel because you do deserve real love? Um, me and Mel don't talk anymore, unfortunately. But, um, yes, I definitely deserve real love. And like I said, I am in the situation now. And, um, you know, I've been enjoying this journey as well. So, you know, and I'll elaborate more on that. And as we've been learning and growing together as well. Wow, BD, I'm so glad to see you share such a special part of you. Yeah, it was definitely a huge part of my journey. Um, whew. How do you feel about being on reality television and just being open? You seem very reserved. Yes, I am very reserved. But um, I'm at a place now where I feel free, you know, and I feel good as speaking my truth and just being, you know, real with me and just understanding what I love and what I like, you know, and um, just really just taking you guys through the journey with me, you know, honestly, and I don't feel bad about that, you know, and it's cool, you know, and I'm going to embrace my story and um, you know, speak my truth and I won't be ashamed, you know, of anything, you know, I feel like we all done been there before, we love someone, whether it was Whatever situation, but like I said, I know for sure I won't um, ever put myself last again, you know. <clears throat> and that's a major promise. I will never break to myself, you know. And you just learn as you grow, and it's just all a part of it. Has your everyday life changed since the show premiered? Um, I've definitely been getting noticed more, um, which is usual. Um, but I wouldn't say it changed, you know, it's just adapting and, you know, just adapting to it. Um, we love you. 
love you too, man. I love you too. Love you and your vibe and your energy. I appreciate that. Yeah. yeah. I have a lot of love, man, and I truly appreciate it all. You know, I just feel like, you know, we have to go through these things and, you know, and I just appreciate you guys for the ones that's not judgmental, the ones that has open minds and just, you know, understand that no one's perfect and, you know, we try, everyone try and we can only do our best. And I'm speaking for the pure people, you know, I have pure intentions, I move with pure intentions, you know, and... I pray that over my life, you know, and I pray that I, whoever enters my life or who life I enter, that it's always pure and, you know, I just pray that over me and my life and, you know, going through this journey and everything. But I would say, you know, um, I've learned a lot. I definitely learned a lot and. I have no problem with anyone. You know, I wish everyone the best of the best. Appreciate the support and the love. And we just getting better each day, man. And that's all we could do. Much love.